If you've invested a lot in your turntable, tone arm, and cartridge, you definitely want to make the most out of it. In these tutorials, I'm going to show you how to make your turntable sound awesome. Hi, my name is Lauren from Analog Magic. Today I'm going to show you how to do a basic setup of your turntable and cartridge. For the setup, you'll need these tools. When connecting the wires of the tone arm to the cartridge, unless you have very small and delicate fingers, we recommend you use tweezers to do the job. And of course, if you have fingers which look like this, then it is highly advisable that you get someone else to do the job. Before you begin with any cartridge or cantilever alignment, please remember to check the tracking force with a cartridge scale to ensure that the force falls within the range recommended by the factory. It is usually approximately between 1.5 to 3 grams force. If you do not check the vertical tracking force before doing the alignment, you run a risk of damaging your expensive cartridge because the suspensions on most cantilevers are not designed to withstand more than 3 grams of force. Later on we will get into the details of how to fine tune the VTF, but for now, let's just get into a safe level for cartridge cantilever alignment. When mounting the tone arm, it is essential that the pivot to spindle distance is accurate. Otherwise, you may find that the stylus of the cartridge may not be able to land on the null points of the mounting template. We believe that Acoustical Systems Pivot to Spindle tool is probably the best on the market. It has the built-in vernier scale, which by definition is precise to 0.01 millimeters or 1 1,000th of an inch. Every tone arm has a specific pivot to spindle distance requirement. You will need to refer to the user manual to get that number. For this particular tone arm, it is 295.6 millimeters. After you have mounted the tone arm onto the turntable, the next thing you will need to do is to align the cartridge using the mounting template. There are a number of mounting templates available on the internet, some of which can be downloaded and printed off your computer for free. Again, the best tool for this job is probably the Acoustical System Alignment Tool, also called the Smart Tractor, or the Professional Phono Alignment Set. It provides for a much higher level of accuracy than any other tool found on the market. It also provides several mounting geometries, such as the popular Bearwald Lofgren, as well as the Acoustical System's proprietary uni geometry. The first thing you will need to do is to point the mounting template towards the pivot of the tone arm. This will lock the position of the null points. Use green tape to secure the platter so that it will not rotate the null points out of position. Next, you will need to move the cartridge forward or backwards until the stylus lands on the null point of the template. Let's take a closer look at the acoustical system template. The null point on most templates is a large black dot, which is 1 to 2 millimeters in diameter. The null point on the acoustical system alignment tool is an indentation laser cut into the template, much smaller than the tip of the stylus, providing for a much higher level of accuracy. If the tiny stylus tip is landing on the dot 2 millimeters in size, chances are you will be off by 1 millimeter. But if the null point is smaller than the stylus tip, you have no room for error, but complete accuracy. After you have affixed the position of the stylus so that it lands precisely on the null points, the next thing you will need to do is align the cantilever so that it is parallel to the grid lines. It is important to note that you are not aligning the cartridge body to the grid. The reason because the cartridges are made all by hand, and sometimes not all cantilevers are made parallel to the cartridge body. So, if you align the body of the cartridge, it will probably be inaccurate. It is also important to remember you must have a proper viewing angle when aligning the cantilever of the cartridge. 
Let's take a look at how the Acoustical Systems template compares with common templates. On the top, we have a regular template. On the bottom, we have an Acoustical System mounting template. Notice this template has a mirror surface with two layers of grid lines printed on the top and on the bottom. The reason there are two sets of lines is because it allows you to prevent any parallax distortion. Before you align the cantilever, you should establish a proper viewing angle by lining up the top layer's grid lines with the bottom layer. When the grid lines are aligned, you have a proper viewing angle. You cannot achieve this with templates that have only a single layer of grid lines. Next, we will do the actual alignment. While keeping the proper viewing angle in check, you then align the cantilever of the cartridge so that the cantilever is exactly parallel to the grid lines. It is important to keep your head still, because if your viewing angle is off, your alignment will be off. In this picture, you will see an example of a perfectly aligned Clear Audio Goldfinger cartridge with the cantilever exactly parallel to the grid lines. Sometimes, cantilever alignment can be difficult for the naked eye to see. The Acoustical Systems Uniscope makes that job a lot easier. The Uniscope is an electronic microscope which attaches to your computer through a USB port. It is capable of magnifying your cartridge on your computer screen at 200 times its original size. And once you're done with the cantilever alignment, your kids can have a lot of fun magnifying ants or insects which they find in the garden. If your eyes are good enough, you can use the Acoustical System Standard Magnifier, which comes with every professional alignment set. Now that the cantilever has landed on the null points and is parallel to the grid lines, is the setup finished? No. There is an important detail which we want to show you. It is the concept called landing behavior, introduced right here by Analog Magic for the very first time. Because we have mounted thousands of cartridges, we have discovered that it is important to pay attention to the landing behavior of the cantilever. When aligning the cantilever, the vast majority of people will simply lower the tone arm lifter and allow the cartridge to land on the template. They will align the cantilever based on a post-landed position. But because the cantilever is a spring mechanism, there is no way for you to see whether the cantilever is going up or down on a straight line if you simply perform the alignment based upon the landed position. As you cue the tone arm lifter in an up and down motion gently with your hand, you can observe the landing behavior of the cantilever going up and down to see whether it is going on an angle or straight up and down. Only a dynamic alignment where you pay close attention to the up and down movement of the cantilever spring mechanism will you be able to observe any uneven pressure of the cartridge exerted upon the cantilever. If there is an uneven pressure, the cantilever will be going up diagonally and not in a straight line. Here we have a photo of an orthophon cartridge. The top photo shows a cantilever which if in dynamic action will go straight up and down. On the bottom, the same cartridge is twisted slightly off axis. The cantilever does not go straight up and down. But if you perform your alignment simply based on static, post-landed position, it will not reveal an uneven pressure being exerted onto the cantilever causing it to have a diagonal up and down movement. You can even see that the stylus is slightly off axis based on the magnified photo. In fact, we cannot emphasize enough the importance of landing behavior because if there is an uneven pressure exerted on the cantilever, over time it will cause it to bend towards the left or the right and it will become off-centered in an idle position. Now that the cartridge has been aligned, you want to tighten the cartridge screws to the proper tightness. The best way to do this is to use a torque wrench. Based on Analog Magic's findings, the optimal torque to use should be approximately between 0.65 and 0.7 inch-pounds. So, make sure to buy an adjustable wrench between 0.1 to 1 inch-pounds. Now that we have mounted the tone arm, determined the approximate VTF, and aligned the cantilever for the cartridge, the static setup portion of setting up the turntable is done. Naked Eye cannot tell you what the stylus is actually doing in the LP grooves. In the next series of tutorial videos, 
we will show you how to use the analog magic software to perform fine tuning on every setup parameter in order to achieve the most accurate vinyl playback using scientifically repeatable methods. Stay tuned and see you soon!